Yeah, so we're just drying it off with some paper towel just to get as much moisture off. The butcher, we've had the butcher score this for us. You can score it yourself or you don't have to score it if you don't want to. It's absolutely not necessary. It's very lightly scored, so nothing severe. So we're drying the whole outside off to get as much moisture as we can possible. We'll do the same with the inside. We'll just try and dry as much of the inside off. So the butchers might fully open this up. This could be cut all the way through here, but they don't always do that. It's quite meaty through there, so they've decided to not do it, which is fine. We'll just stitch up the head part and we'll fill the belly cavity and stitch up that as well. We've got a, like a pretty much a bottle of olive oil here. You can get whatever olive oil you want. You could get an infused olive oil if you wanted. And then we've got salt, about a kilo of salt, and a couple hundred grams of pepper here. So you're going to fully cover the pig with the oil, um, inside and outside. Now, fully basted with olive, we've just got some salt here, pink table salt. And we're gonna be very generous with this, so um, we're gonna salt, again, the whole outside and the inside. You can be very generous with the salt. Um, and then, like, we're only gonna use a couple hundred grams of pepper, but we'll use the whole kilo of salt here. So we've let this sit in the fridge now for a couple of hours. You, preferably you do it overnight. Um, and we're gonna rub more salt into it now. So more salt, maybe a little bit more pepper, really getting into the scoring. If you don't have it scored, that's perfectly fine. Just rub it onto the skin. So we're gonna really cover it now, get it all on, and then we're gonna put it onto the actual spit. This is the 1500 hooded Spartan. So this is a charcoal only. There is a 1500 um, gas and charcoal one as well. We're just using charcoal today. So this is the 1500 spit. We just cut aluminium foil, super cheap, um, $1.40 kind of a roll. So we cover our charcoal pan. This is the pan here, you can see it's just sitting on top and then some of the other surfaces with aluminium foil. Just helps with the clean up, helps with heat reflection. So we just do that to save on clean up and stuff. The charcoal is gonna go straight onto here. We're going to, where you can use a chimney. So we do use a chimney, but today we're just gonna show you you can just start the charcoal straight into the pan. So we've just got fire starters here, you can get them from Woolies or Bunnings. Um, fire starters will supply this if you want the chimney and the uh, fire starter sort of charcoal kit with our hires. Um, but if you just bought one and you're doing this at home, this is it, simple as that, all right. And here we are, we've just made four piles of charcoal, literally the fire burners at the bottom. This will take 20, sort of 30 minutes for these piles, for that charcoal to get done. Once it's done, we'll push it to the back and we'll sit some more along the side so it catches naturally. Um, so this is the start of the piles here. These are the accessories we're gonna need for the whole pig. The spine brace, one leg brace, two large prongs for the front and back. If you're doing a lamb, you might want an extra back brace and an extra leg brace. Uh, this, These, for a whole pig, comes with the all the hooded, all the hooded and non-hooded um, spits, but you can buy extra leg braces and extra back braces. We'll also use a counterweight, and we'll show that later, just to make sure it all rotates really evenly, which is also an optional extra. So 
So we're going to put the back brace in. So here we go on either side of the spine, and we're just going to poke it through without the skewer first, because we need to know where these holes are coming out. So because it's like that, what you might need to do is grab a knife, find out where they're in, and just cut that skin where the sort of prong is, and on the other side, so that you know it's going to come out. So we know that now, we know the holes where it's marked, so if he, you can see it, he'll poke it through. Right, and then now we know where it is, um, and we're just going to leave that there. It's, it doesn't really matter, and we're going to put the skewer through now. Yeah, we're putting the skewer in, so through the back. You can see it's poking through here, it's gone through the back brace spine brace, whatever you want to call it, and then we're going to come out the mouth. So yeah, the mouth is really closed, you might just pry it open. Yep, and then there it is. So we're going to get that, we're going to sort of centre it. So you can see we've got, we're using the 1500, so this guy you could try and fit on the 1200, it would be much more room, you just have to plan it a bit better, but that's, we're happy with that, so we're going to sit it sit it like this we've got the skewer on now now we're going to slightly tighten the back brace you don't want to over tighten this this in case you break the spine while it's cooking and stuff you don't want to apply too much pressure so you want it to be firm but you don't want to over tighten it so now we're going to tighten on the back brace this is one set of the prongs right so we're going from the back here and we're going right into the meaty flesh of this back sort of hip either side and you're going to push this all the way in. This prong will go all the way in. So here we've shoved it, it's all the way in. You can see it's in the actual meaty, meaty spot of it. This whole one gets pulled all the way through. So now we're gonna do the front, so we'll move on to that. So now we're putting on the front one. So we're skimming past the cheek, going into the mouth, and straight into these front shoulders either side. So when we get it pushed into the mouth like this, um, we're gonna open it. Like, so what we do, we're stuck here. So we're gonna open the mouth and cut these cheeks along here so we can get it in as far as we can. Yep, so we've cut along the cheek and now we're gonna, you will probably need a hammer or a mallet. because We're gonna get this all the way in to make sure we get a big portion of this front bar into the um, shoulders. So we're gonna hammer this until it's in the mouth as far as we can go. Yep, so you can see now we've screwed it in from the top through the mouth here. Um, if your butcher doesn't cut along the mouth here, they've, maybe they've done one hole cut along here but they've stopped here and they haven't cut this then you just need to cut a hole where that can screw in just to screw it down onto the spit um, and you can see we're right back into the cheekbone there and we're right into the shoulder of the big chunk of the meat so that's holding it up we're, we're happy with that so here we're putting the leg brace on just butt it right up against the back we're going to tighten it you can screw this from other, either side we're just going to pop it here at the moment just to show how you do it so tightening the leg brace on and then what he's going to do is we're going to pop one of these legs over one side to show you literally just bend it and there it is so we have spread it out it's popped on now you don't need to tie this down or anything like that because the natural leg and how it bends and is just going to hold it there like that so we're sorted leg brace on We've got the two front prongs, we've got the back brace, we're good to go. If the pig was any larger, you might need um, a second brace and you just do it in thirds. And now what we're gonna do, the butcher here, he's, he's had the, tied the leg through cutting the cheek. So we're just gonna tie a little bit of stainless steel from the leg here to the front prong where the gap is on either side. You can't see the gap on this side. Just one like wrap there of stainless steel, like not much at all. Um, and now we're gonna fill the belly and stitch it up and all we do to fill the belly is we do a very simple one we cut half quarters whatever of apple and onion here and we're just going to fill it with apple and onion you can use 
whatever you want, put other herbs or anything you want in it, but that's just what we use. Apple, onions, stuff the belly, stitch it up, and good to put it on the spit. So we have to stuff the belly with apples and onions, and now we're gonna stitch it up and you can put a bit more salt and pepper or we've got some garlic powder which we're putting on the inside as well. Um, just tell me about it, go for it, whatever you want to do, now we're gonna stitch it. So we've just stitched it up, all the belly's all stitched up, it's full of apples and onions, it's all stitched up. We stitched up the neck as well and tied the legs. Probably don't need it for this one because it's through the through the fat here, but we tied the leg just to that front prong as well. Um, just there. And now we're ready to just pop it on the spit, so we're gonna do that now. Here we got it sitting on the spit here. So this is pretty balanced. Um, if it was unbalanced, you could pop on a counterweight, but we're not too worried about this. We've got the 60 kilo rated motor. But if you did notice, it was skipping, jumping and falling and struggling to pick it up on the other side because it was too unbalanced, you can put a counterweight on it, which we would do for all our highs. If we come out for highs, we put all counterweights on to make sure it's all balanced for people. So now we're gonna pop the pin into here and then start rotating. We've got the charcoal here. We'll spread that out a little bit, add a little bit more, but there's plenty of heat. And then we're gonna do the hand test. So you pop your hand here. If you can hold it for eight seconds at the bottom of the meat, then that's about a good good one. If you can pull it away a bit, you have to pull it away before then. You either need to spread your charcoal out or raise it. And these just raise through the friction locks up and down. We've got out the highest at the moment to get it on and we'll just adjust it accordingly. And we've started rotating it. Um, it's pretty nice and hot. We will lower it a little bit just for the start to get all the skin really hot and stuff so it crackles and stuff. And then we will lower it high, raise it a bit after that. So we're gonna add salt onto it. So we've got it pretty low here because we're trying to get it real hot at the start. We definitely will have to raise it. Now you can baste it. We just spray, this is just one part olive oil, one part lemon juice shaking really well. We're just gonna spritz it on. Um, but you could also just baste it with a brush like you normally do. But we're gonna do this every 20 minutes to half an hour. So we spritz it on like that and then we'll come back and do that again every sort of 20 minutes.